Previously on Trails for Daybreak, Anya had to set out on the Monster Extermination quest because of family matters. Despite the setback, the party still managed to defeat the giant frog monster with only three people. On the way back, a bunch of wolves attacked the United Star Agency, but fortunately, Fee showed up to help rescue them. When the party returned to the garage, they found Anya's and her friend Albert, who doesn't approve of her new job, but Red and Odette told them off. Afterwards, Anya explained more about her family situation, and Nina Penley sent in a request to deal with a threat letter. What the hell is this? Had she luck picking up chicks today, so right now I'm just chilling, and hey, lucky me, got here just in time to see them dancing. I've heard of idols before, cheap as hell in the looks department, but they're real cute. Really makes you want to cheer for the underdog. Oh, it's those two. Yes. Hey dude, we're putting on a free show tonight. We've got an idol duo performing. Not exactly a venue seller right now, but not gonna lie. Rock bands are a wave right now. It's tough for an idol bands to even make a breakthrough. Some music fans even say idol pop is just an excuse for artists in cute dresses to flirt with the audience. But even then, those girls are working real hard. No reason they don't deserve our support. Um. I'm not the biggest fan of rainy days. It's gloomy out and I hate seeing everyone with a frown on their face. I do hope you and Elaine are getting on okay, Van Darling. What happened in Longport was quite heavy. Elaine's a regular here, yeah? Sure is. Perfect place for you to take her on a date, if you ask me. Unless you're avoiding her, that is. Speaking of frowns, that's a face unsuited for them. Why don't you try and cheer her up sometime? She always looks so lonely. I'd love to, but it really ain't up to me. She'd probably just nag my ears off. And well... That's alright, darling. I'll stay out of your private business. Sorry, didn't mean to bring up such a touchy subject. No, it's fine. I'm not really avoiding her either. We've been running into each other a lot lately. Not like that's gone well at all, but yeah. You two still have a long ways to go. I maintain a good relationship with the guild, so bracers pop in from time to time. I've had Jin and Elaine over, and even Kilika has come over with one of her subordinates from the CID. The rest of my regular clientele is largely made up of black market merchants, gangsters, and our information brokers. Probably not a boring day in sight, eh? Everyone's been talking about the Far Bad Film Festival. Oof, just the kind of thing my jerk of an ex would be into. Always called movies films, the pretentious asshole. I'm almost glad he dumped me. Girl, just thinking about him makes me so angry. Ugh, I'm gonna go take a nice jog to clear my head. I don't care if it's the middle of the night. Once this rain lets up, I'm running until my vision goes white. I'm just thankful that the Sunday school children in Belicia's brother are happy and healthy. Oh, what am I saying? Of course they should be. Children being happy and healthy is the bare minimum. Even if I can't directly impact their health and happiness, I can still hope they'll be able to lead great lives of their own. I heard there will be a film festival underway in Farbad next week. Farbad bordering with the Central East has deeply influenced its culture, even when it's still part of the Republic. It may be in the middle of the desert, but luxurious hotels and art amenities are never lacking. It's developed widely in the past years. I'm curious to see the continued impact the film industry has had in the Republic. Farbad borders with the Principality of Elsheim, the Central East economic powerhouse. The Republic has maintained good relations with them for the longest time. The cultural exchanges seen the film festival are fascinating. I'm eager to see what this year brings. Nothing beats having your own sweet ride. Even the ride isn't so sweet. Or my driving skills, for that matter. I haven't scored a single win. Nope, nope, I'm letting the negativity get to me. That's lame, man. All I gotta do is get back behind the wheel and practice today. I'm taking my new ride to the limit. Let me show you what this baby can do, Graham. It's a nice ride, Downey, but be careful when it's raining. Better to have a good time on the road than hydroplane off it, yeah? Here you go, a cup of your favorite coffee. How are you feeling? Need a shoulder rub? Back massage? Just gotta ask. You either ain't that Juniper I know, or there's something you're after. Now spill. Nope, I'm not after anything. At all. I just want you to know how much I appreciate you. Is it bad that I want to repay the kindness you've shown me? No, but it's bad to get all up in my personal space like that. Shoo! Family, alright. Barking at each other all the time, but at least they still get along. I'd love to go on a road trip with Graham, but I can't swing it. All my paychecks have been going straight to the car parts. I could straight up declare bankruptcy on myself. Not to mention I'll never hear the end of it if my uncle gets wind of the idea. And now for our song We'll be playing slow if Jennifer learned how to back off a little. That girl's a four on my side. This rain came out of nowhere. I'm glad I was prepared for it, but still. Leaving your bike out in the rain all night is a good way to rest it up its chain. Of course, it's not an orable bike, but mine takes just as much love and care and maintenance. Sheesh, that's a mighty hard downpour just to come out of nowhere. 
Uh, as it just come out of nowhere. I'm gonna have to close this shop early today. The crummy word does nothing but hurt my business. I wish it'd knock it off. Here's hoping the rest of the holidays are all sunshine. More importantly, I wonder what's up with that girl. She's been a little weird with me since I asked if her taste buds were messed up the other day. Hope she's not getting herself too worked up about it. Hmm, the perfect blend. This combination is simply sublime. Wait, I can't. The mere existence of this goes against everything I strive for. It's an affront to my very being. I might have to talk this over with the other food carts. Hmm. This light drizzles really brought a chill out. I'm serving up warm cocktails to fight it off. Out for an evening stroll? Careful you don't catch a cold. Hey, I'll try. Thanks, Shino. Just got a few things to take care of before heading back. What's a kid doing at, at, at a time like this? She ain't even got an umbrella on her. Well, can't just ignore her. I'll see what's up. Hey, kid, what are you doing out this late without an umbrella? Promise you th that you ain't missing much by sticking around this boring spot. Mister, uh, my little sister and I were playing with each other's hair ties. But I dropped my sister's ties in the river and I just can't find them. Ah, oh, gotcha. I lost something important then. But I don't think you're gonna find much at all when it's this dark out. Take it on the chin for now and come back when it's daytime. And maybe when it's not raining so hard. You'll catch a cold if you stick around. No, I have to find them right now. I've been searching for them so for so long. I've gotta find them soon. Good grief, you're a stubborn one. Reminds me of someone I know. I could just take her back home myself if I wanted to. But I'm not too sure I can persuade her to leave. It might be easier to help her find the darn things. Except the 4 SPG. Law and Grey, huh? Okay, fine. Guess I got stuck with you since I made the mistake of asking what was up. I'll help you find those hair ties or whatever. Really? You're not kidding, mister. Yeah, but I don't work for free. And I don't take money from kids either, so I'm gonna cut you a deal instead. A deal? If we can't find them, you accept it, give up on them for now, and come back another day. If you don't agree to that, then no dice. Okay, I promise. Please help me look for them. Alright, a deal's a deal. Let's hop to it. Where do you drop the hair ties? Not here. The day I lost them, the river was so, so full of water, and they got washed away. They're this way. Follow me. Whoa, wait up. That's weird. The river hasn't flooded recently. So I guess I'm following her anyway. So why are we down here? So whatever, don't, just don't run off on your own while we're down here, okay? Sure. Um, the hair tights should probably be in the back. Come on, let's get looking. Yeah, yeah. She dropped those hair tights here of all places. I ain't buying it, but she's just a kid. A sweet one at that. Doesn't look like she's trying to play me or anything. Don't know what her goal is, but the only way to find out is to stick with her, I guess. There will be monsters down in the sewers. With her in tow, I better not pick any fights. Well, we're on the clock now. Um, okay, let's cross the bridge. Yay, this is fun. We're going on an adventure. That's a lot of dudes. Hey, there's monsters over there. Get back here. I'm fine, hey. Don't worry about me. What the hell? They didn't notice her at all. Shit. Activating shards. Why do they have turn advantage? <laughs> Why are they so high leveled all of a sudden? The, the hell? Okay, Abyssal Flame, all of you. Activating drive. Eat this. No target. That only hurt you, but man. Bruh, this is not fair. Why do they have to make me do this by myself, dude? Attack their weakness with an arc. Give them your all. Time for the main event. Vandalize! Raid! Boost gauge limiter unlocked. Here goes. Brace yourself! Boost gauge limiter unlocked!
Wow, mister, you're so strong. I told you not to run off on your own. There's monsters in here. Stick close to me, okay? Sure. I'll take your word for it, then. The hell is going on? All the monsters we came across along the way have been acting the same. Are they being weird, or is it she the oddball? Man, I hope I'm just overthinking it. Oh, they're not here. Let's keep going. We're pretty far in now. Good time is ever to ask a few questions. Are you sure we're going the right way? You're pretty chill, even with all the monsters around. Have you been here before? Uh, I don't know. I'm not even. Sh I'm not sure where they are, but I'm just letting my feet guide me. Maybe they're really far in. There was a lot of water last time. A lot of water, huh? Now it's pretty interesting. Because we haven't had a downpour bad enough to flood the river in months. So let's get down to brass tacks. You're taking me to the end of the tunnel. Why? I, I know what I'm talking about. I know where I'm right. The river was so, so full of water and it washed the hair ties away. They got carried all the way to the end, but there was a really scary thing in the way and I couldn't get them back. Scary thing, and it's at the end of the tunnel. Um, no, there's no scary thing. Nothing to be scared about. So, okay, whatever. I feel like if I start poking holes into your story, I'm gonna, just gonna be here till dawn. Let's just get it over with. Come on, show me the scary thing. Okay. They're here! But I can't get them back with that scary guy in here. Yeah, I can see how that would be scary for a kid. You can get them back once I get rid of it, yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry, mister. Please don't get hurt. Here goes! Eat this! Can't move. My move now! Full boost! Go all out! Hmm. Zypha, activate! There! Here goes! Give them your all! Brace yourself! Vandalize! Raid! Boost gauge, limiter unlocked! A chance! Chance. Eat this! Here goes! Uh, eat this! Okay, one. Fortune. Alright, that should do it. Whoa, mister, you're so cool. Thank you for getting rid of it. Um, the hair tie should be right here. Here, it's Laura's hair ties. Huh, I half figured you were lying about the hair ties. That's mean, I told you I wasn't lying. Maybe, but you weren't entirely honest either. Man, they look pretty clean still. They handmade, because they look like they had a lot of effort put into them. Yeah, I know, my little sister put her whole heart into it. So, you gonna tell me why your sister's hair ties were down here? Okay, we had a big family trip that day. My sister and I swapped her handmade hair ties with each other for fun. But it was really, really rainy and... And I lost them. It's my fault that Laura's been so sad this whole time. I want to give them back to her, no matter what. I could tell. You did look genuinely worried about her, your sister from the start. But there's still something you haven't told me, yeah? Heh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm really sorry, mister. Please take this. I'm counting on you. Oh man, she drags me all the way down here and still dumps more work on my lap. But I guess it'll be worth the effort if it means she'll pass on peacefully to Adios' side. I guess I'll head back to the surface for now. A ghost? Van received the handmade hair ties. I feel like we should call a Septian church for this. Ah, oh, fresh air at last. And of course it's still raining. Hold on, is she? Hey you! 
Oh, who are you, mister? Dang it, all the NPCs have the same model, so it's really easy to get them mixed up. Damn it if she doesn't look exactly like the other girl. A little younger, maybe. Sorry, got the wrong person. Wait a second, where are you holding there? Oh, I picked them up a bit ago. Figured I might as well try and find their owner, so I was going to start looking. Oh, they look just like them. Sorry, but could you tell me more about where you found those? Yeah, sure. Sorry for the inconvenience, I still haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laura, and this is my daughter. Hi. I'm Van from Arkwright Solutions. Wait, you said your name is Laura? Here, it's Laura's hair ties. And I lost them. It's my fault that Laura's been so sad this whole time. Do you recognize these? I do, that's what I wanted to talk about. My twin sister Lila lost them 20 years ago. Today's the 20th anniversary of her death. This is where the accident happened. I came by to pay my respects, only to be surprised when I see you team turn up with those in hand. That is definitely a surprise, yeah. So me running into that kid tonight wasn't a coincidence. What kind of accident was it? You don't have to answer that if you don't want to. Well, I don't think this encounter is a mere coincidence, so I'm okay sharing. It was 20 years ago on a dark and cloudy day, just like today. My whole family had come to the capital for a trip, only to have the capital suddenly be struck by tremendous downpours. The river here didn't take long to be swollen with water. And that's the flooding the kid was talking about. Our family was rushing to evacuate, of course. But while we were doing that, my sister came back here because she dropped my hair ties. I chased after her that day. But the river swallowed us both. I survived by some miracle, but she wasn't so lucky. The last memento of hers that we could never find were those hair ties you have in your hands. I see, thanks for sharing with me. I'll give these back to the rightful owner then. Van gave Laura the hair ties. Thank you so much. I can't believe I just happened to meet the person that would find them 20 years later. This must be a miracle from the goddess herself. Hey, can I see them? They're a little dirty, but they're really pretty. Right, this is a precious treasure that belonged to my sister and I. They are a little dirty, but that should clean off. Once they're clean, I'll let you wear them. Really? Really? Yay. Heh, <laughs> they're so cute. Do they look good on me? They definitely suit you. You okay? I apologize. Thank you for being considerate. I never stopped feeling guilty about that day. If I hadn't been so mad at her for losing the tie, she might still be alive today. Wherever she is now, she must hate me. It probably doesn't mean much, but coming from me. But I don't think your sister would hate you or hold a grudge. In fact, I'm sure that she'd be more worried about getting them back to you so you wouldn't be sad. That does sound like her, alright. If she were here, I can imagine her trying to cheer me up. She was always so full of life, so kind. That's the sister I remember. Mommy, are you okay? I'm sorry, dear. I'm fine now. Van, right? I can't thank you enough. This doesn't feel like nearly enough, but please take it as a token of my gratitude. Vitality Droplet. I wasn't looking for a payment or anything, but if you insist, I'll take it. I do. I hope it'll be useful to you. Sorry for keeping you. We'll be heading off now. Once again, thank you so much. Thanks for the pre-hair ties. Have a good one. That takes care of that. Lawn Gray. Too bad that didn't give me an activity point. Now, what's a dashing and handsome young man like you doing under this chilly rain? You should come and take refuge at our wonderful hotel. Our girls will warm you up right up, and more, should you want it. It's 5,000 euro for a two-hour session. A bargain if you ask me. You can even extend a session or take the services home with you. A lot of burgers around Station Street, I guess. Gotta give it to this dude for putting in the effort to sell it under his wire. Can you believe Administrator Wesley is still over at the Orbital Cafe? He's been going there every day for the past few uh, past week. He insists it's for research purposes, but I think he just likes it there. He's been struggling lately, doubting his managerial skills, so I'm sure a break will do him some good. Thank you for visiting the Weston Department Store. That reminds me, I haven't been in touch with my family in a while. They live in Ored. I wonder how they're doing. I may have already mentioned it, but my family owns a farm. It's hard work and my parents aren't getting any younger. I've been so busy lately that writing to them has just slipped my mind. I should probably change that, see how they're doing. Tips for finding a rich husband. I don't think I can give you tips on that. Please, 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 Marguerite. I crave a life of comfort and luxury just like yours. All I need is a good and dependable husband with a juicy salary. Yes, I get that part. Maybe let's start easy. How about I tell you how I met my husband? Thank you for visiting the Weston Department Store. Oh man, I wonder what Marguerite did to snag herself a husband that wealthy. Once I find out, I'm sure I'll get to live in the lap of luxury too. She's not the kind of person I expected to attract the attention of, a, of while out shopping. But she's a great conversationalist and her taste in fashion is impeccable. I think we'd get along, so I'll give it a try. 
Laurel Pharmacy is the perfect place for all your everyday needs. We've got a wide selection of products. From brand name drugs to Remifarian medicine and Eastern medicines. We've got it all. Even all natural cosmetics from the Central East. Working here has really expanded my horizons. It's an experience I never would have been able to have back in Longport. Thank you for visiting the I would have done just about anything as long as it didn't have to do with martial arts, but I feel so at home here. Our stores have a wide variety of fine goods for sale. There's so much to learn when it comes to pharma. Different cultures and countries all have their own applications of medicine. Us. The more you learn, the bigger your world becomes. It was just an excuse to leave Longport first, but I think I'm actually digging this whole pharmacist deal. Gotta do what I uh, got, uh, got it as a gunsmith. Not like I haven't been handling the army's weapons this whole time. But the ones that come to me for adjustments are the real enthusiasts. Thank you for visiting. The army pulled all the stops, out all the stops, and getting everyone kid out with the latest and greatest. But not everyone was happy. Pleasing that this pleases my job, so I've been taking care of them. We hope you enjoy. Shopping. Hey Van, you're familiar with Stanley over in Old Town, yeah? We've been on good terms for a while. They recently got in touch with me, though. She said he wanted to introduce me to someone. A very promising young craftsman from the countryside. I suppose I'll be meeting her sometime soon. I'm rather intrigued to find out what will be the theme for this year's EGC. All eyes are on the show, so it's the biggest trendsetter in the fashion world. Actors from the film festival in general, celebrities always dress differently every year, and new styles always make an impact. I had a company information session today, but ended up being late. Not very useful for picking where to work if I don't hear anything about the place. I always also end up forgetting my umbrella. If I don't hurry home, I'll catch a cold. Rain goes plip plop. It's so much fun to splash. It makes everything look so shiny, heh. Oh, it's late already. Mina, stop wandering around. Wait for the bus like a big girl. No. I don't wanna. Mina, don't yell, please. Maybe I should just call a taxi. The Republic is massive. You're talking just sides. It's definitely the biggest in the continent. And it's not just wide in its territory. We're also a melting pot of cultures and ethnicities in here. A little bit from everywhere we border. It's our job to keep the balance in the con continent. That, of course, includes dealing with the East Desertification. Now then, this looks like a good schedule for next week. A little on the safe side, but it'll work. Jin's out right now. Had some urgent business to attend to. I'm sure he'll be back before we know it, though. He's been awfully busy nowadays. What with being the face of the guild and all, I was the one that pushed him to do it. But I fear that he may have put too much pressure on him in the process. Oh well, he's built up sturdy stuff. I'm sure he'll manage. Elaine's much the same. I understand why she would shy away from the limelight, but we need all our best talent doing their best effort. Is that right? Anyway, I'm glad everything went off without a hitch. I wasn't expecting monsters to show up, though. Make sure to record everything in your notebook before reporting back to me. Understood. It also gives me a chance to let today just really sink in. Life's never going to go as expected, so things coming out of nowhere now will only help prepare me for later. Huh, that's a spirit. Alvis trains every day after work. He's very diligent. And he's the one training me all the time, too. I should follow his example. I need to keep training so I can get stronger. I was the one assigned to oversee Grace training. He's improved a lot since I last saw him. Makes me feel proud. He's still got a ways to go, but I'll hopefully keep it up. I should be able to get back to Basil by the end of the day if I take the next train. The main reason for my visiting of Edith is to visit my parents, but I'm quite enjoying my field research too. I might be able to motivate some of the underclassmen to take on field research too if I could show them how much fun it can be. That protester we had was making such a ruckus er here earlier today, so I just keep getting busier and busier. He was one of those anti-immigration extremists, nothing but rude white supremacists, a bunch of them. They get all haughty about purging immigrants and how they're ruining the Republic and the true Calvert can't exist with them here. I deal with them all the time, yeah, it doesn't mean I like them or that I'm used to them. See the movie. Fans are raving about. It's pretty sickening. Under the eyes of the law, every race in the Republic is equal. Their nonsense pro propaganda is against the law and that alone. So it's just horrible. I don't even know how you get to start linking less of people that way. Oh, Miss Sonia, are you on Nightwatch again? I am. Someone's gotta keep all these delinquents out past curfew and check. I'm guessing you're on your way back from club practice. It's very late. Oh yeah, you see, the Winter Nationals are just around the corner. So it's extra important I escort the students at least partway home since they don't have club practice. Thank you so much, Sasha. I've heard so many scary stories recently. But with you by my side, I won't feel as nervous. Yeah, you're way more trustworthy than some stinking boys. Just as popular with your underclassmen as ever. Well, take care. Let me know if you need any help, alright? I will. You have my word as a general club manager. As long as you're with them, Sasha, I don't have to worry. I still have a bit of night patrol left to go, so feel free to reach out if you get into any trouble. Practice will start getting way more intense now that the basketball club made it to nationals. 
But I can't put my juniors in danger either. It's my duty to escort them home. This posh looking elderly gentleman has started paying the cafe regular visits lately. He seems interested in our owner. Maybe he's looking for a friend. But I can't shake the feeling that I've seen him somewhere before. We get fewer customers when it's raining, so I'll have to figure out a new strategy to increase traffic. Strategies hinge on data, and it's hard to put one effect when it's all inconsistent. We need to improve. Of course, it'll be, it'd be way easier if Ilhan came up with realistic policies and not just pipe dreams. Don't get me wrong, he's really smart and his business sense is fantastic, but there could be some improvement in this regard. Oh, a whole lot of it. Ilhan's an extremely smart guy, but he's totally close when it comes to managing a business up close. So I guess I'll just have to cover up for his weaknesses. Tish. You stay right there. It's very rude to try and slink off the second you see someone, you know. I was just being mindful. Didn't want to borrow you two. Your timing's actually perfect. I was just telling her about how I ran to you guys earlier today. We can get through the story faster with you here. That's not... Fine, I guess I can chat you guys up for a sec. Trust you to sit next to Fee instead of me. Is she more of your type? It's because she's the one who invited me over. Don't look so too hard into things. I'm just kidding, though you'll forgive me for being suspicious when you seemingly only employ young women now. I didn't hire any of them willingly. I told you that already. You know I'd much rather work alone if I can help it. I know, easier for your shady work to happen when there's no witnesses at all, right? There's nothing shady about my work. I got standards and I ain't about to forgo them. Then why are you always trying to avoid me? Now that's a whole different issue. Third wheeling's no fun. That wasn't... Sorry, sorry, I didn't want you to see me like that. Oh, I could listen to this all night. Not everyone gets to see the beauty's blade like this. We're done now. Yes, <laughs> Jin wasn't kidding about the two of you getting along. I'm not sure that's how I'd put it. We've just known each other for a long time. That's all there is to it. Yes, that's right. I won't cry, but you two avoiding it so much only makes me more curious. Guess I'll figure out the rest on my own. Thanks for giving me something else to enjoy while I'm in Calvert. The guild needs to stop looking towards smart asses for help, I swear. First is Kitty and now you. You know her too. I take it the guild's had an eye on her for a while now. Of course, especially considering who her current family is. But she's only here in Calvert as a student right now. We have no intention of interfering in her affairs. Yeah, I'm taking that one with a big grain of salt. Especially when Jin's involved. Still don't know why you're pawning jobs off on me when y'all have so many resources on hand already. You can never have too many. We still have sh we will still be short in the long term. I hate to agree, but she's right. Man. Well, thanks for the invite. I'll get out of your hair now. Sure thing. I learned a lot from talking with you. We'll have to sit down against Hagar sometime. No promises. Will you rather I not third wheel next time and leave you two alone? Not what I meant. Fee. I'll stop teasing her now before she gets angrier. Bye, Van. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Wouldn't surprise me if we did. I've known Elaine for a while now, but you can always learn something new. It's fine. I'm not going to tease you about it. I'll be staying in the Republic for a while now that I'm here, so catch you around. You need to be more on guard, you know? Adios, you're always so careless. Are all men like this or just you? I don't care if this is just how you do things, but you need to be careful. Better make myself scarce, not in the mood for a lecture today. I had a chance to see the owner up close. He's easygoing, the kind that will welcome anyone with a smile, even if that's someone is the head of the store right across the street. He's totally within his right to do so, of course. Nothing says I can't frequent different stores. I was there in the capacity of a customer. But he's a whole lot more laid back than I expected of someone as creative genius. Maybe that's his secret. But even though it's raining, it's surprisingly not very humid outside. On gloomy days like this, I recommend some strong coffee. It'll give your day just that extra kick that it needs. This doesn't work for everyone, but some people find it helps with headaches, too. I use a slightly different blend on rainy days. If I want to take paid leave, I'm probably going to have to finish up everything before I leave. Hmm, I might need to do some overtime. Wait, wouldn't it be redundant if I just overwork myself so I can relax? Hmm, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thank you for your visit today. This side of heaven does a fair job depicting the challenges that physicians face. Unfortunately, I don't love its contextual usage of music. It reeks of trend chasing. Back when movies were new, intimate scenes between characters would have no music. They'd only have a few ambient sounds at most. But movies these days will blast mediocre music in these moments. So damned record companies are ruining cinema. Film stores only have only really enjoyed this level of notoriety for a little over 10 years now. When I see them grace the covers of entertainment magazines, they look so in their element. 
Those who have poured their hearts and souls into this industry are really being rewarded for all their efforts. Of course, that fortune doesn't come without its share of problems. I still hope we can realize even greater success in time. If you have a ticket... At this theater, we never rest on our laurels. We're always devising new interesting ways to promote this place in films as a whole. Where it's actors giving talks, collaborating with Stuart Bookstore, or producing pamphlets and merchandise, we're always doing something. We have, merchandise for the movie on we have high hopes that the Far Bad Film Festival will help give this industry some momentum. What? Good evening. If you're wondering about our late night showing, I'm, I'm sorry to say we don't have any new additions for this week. However, you can look forward to us rerunning any award winners that emerge from the Far Bad Film Festival. We'll be playing those at night. Simply receiving an award isn't monumental for a film in and of itself, let alone what kind. We hope you'll watch them once they're available. If you have a ticket... Hello, please proceed to the entrance. Okay. It's the sight of heaven. Sober Curious, I need to watch right now. Tickets for Sober Curious. I'll be two entered for one. Yes. Let's grab a seat. I think I've already seen this before, but I reloaded to see the other result. Lily is an actress whose career has spanned two decades. Despite her grueling schedule and the ceaseless pressure that comes with the job, she finds great meaning in her work. She derives satisfaction from the process of transforming into another person, into someone who isn't her. And that feeling pushes her further and further into her career. She is utterly consumed by it, inebriated by it. And that inebriation gives rise to something new. One day Lily began to hear a voice inside her head, a voice from another version of herself. And this is but one of many conversations between the two. You have got to be kidding me. They passed me over for her? Who does that little minx think she is? She gets roles left and right and yet her acting is garbage! Why do you spend so much time obsessing over younger actresses? And did you really have to sleep with that producer? Isn't that going a little overboard? This is a dog-eat-dog -dog industry. One night, with that cretin is nothing if it gets me some work. This is getting us nowhere. I'm so tired of all this. I just want to get away. I'll go back to the old me and... Okay, then answer me this. Which of us is the old you? Whenever that question is posed, their arguments end on the spot. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is real and who's the thrall? Finn, were you just uh, showing too? Hey Elaine, that's wild. Both of us catching the same movie at the exact same time. What were the odds of that, huh? You're telling me. I couldn't pass this one up after hearing the reviews. They were all talking about what a unique movie it is and how good of a job Nikkei Marceau does in playing a woman going insane. Damn, sounds like you really did your homework going into it. I'm surprised you'd watch something like that. I figured you were into more cutesy s So what if I am? I can watch whatever I like, can't I? I wasn't criticizing you, I swear. It just caught me off guard, is all. I didn't think you could really handle the dark, heavier stuff. I couldn't when I was younger, yes, but these days I can relate to someone like her. I know what it's like to have pressure slowly piling on to you. It's like a glass someone's always pouring into, little by little. It keeps getting closer to the top, but it never seems to stop. I can't go back to being a nobody now. I'm beauty's blade and everything that comes with it. Good and bad. Elaine, I didn't realize you were... Forget I said any of that. It's nothing you needed to hear, Van. I'm going to head home now. Don't stay out too late, alright? Van's conversation in the theater continued for a brief period. Soon enough, however, the two sides parted ways in the lobby. From there, Van got on with the rest of his evening. Hey, looks like they're selling commemorative brochures for this movie. Maybe I should pick one up as a souvenir. Hmm. Bye. Connection stage up. Hmm, Elaine got more stats. And Van as well. Gonna watch a movie? I'll tag along if you want. Not that I'm the first choice for company for a lady killer like you. Oh hey Van, no I just found myself passing by while thinking about some things. This film festival coming up in Farbad is shaping up to be a messy one. You're telling me, as if there wasn't enough attention on it after Musseldams got canned. We've got those friending notes to deal with. You just had to give us a tough job, didn't you? <laughs> so what if it is? I knew you could handle it, so that's why I referred you. 
It shouldn't be all so uh, uh, all be so bad out there. I promise to hook you guys up with some decent four SPGs for your trouble while you're there. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm just impressed you know s such a famous actress. I guess that comes with being a hotshot reporter, but still, how do you two even meet? Nina and I happen to share a minor connection, that's all. I wouldn't say we're all that friendly or anything along those lines. She is quite an impressive person, though. I'll grant you that. Hell yeah, she is. Array on top of the movie world at her age. With those looks and the acting chops that back them up, she more than belongs. I'm not talking about any of that. I'm more talking about her personality. She's an incredibly tenacious young woman with an equally strong will. More than the people will give her credit for. I'm sure you've noticed too, right? Yeah, I guess you could say I have. I'm sure a lot of that has to do with her whole background and how... There you are, Dingo. I've been looking all over for you. So, hey, Mariel. What is it this time? Man, she really can't get enough of you, can she? You're that Spriggan. What are you doing hanging out with Dingo again? Wait, are you two, like, a thing? Does it look like it? Some reporter you are. And what's that supposed to mean? I just don't think you're a good enough man for Dingo, that's all. As for you, Mr. Fessa, what have you been pursuing all this time, huh? What could possibly be so big that it has so much of your attention? I told you before, it doesn't concern you. Besides, why should I feel obligated to tell someone from a competitor what I'm working on? You sure didn't seem to be having any trouble talking to him before I showed up. Why can't you tell him but not me? That's not fair. That's not fair at all. Look, for the love of Adios, keep me out of this. Wait a minute, if you're here in the theater, could it have something to do with the movie festival? Er... Say, Dingo, do you mention there was a movie you wanted to see? Wish I could take your, you up on your invitation, but something came up, so I got bail. Real sorry, man. I know it's not exactly the funnest thing, watching a movie by yourself, but I bet it'll still be good without me. Oh, you're here to see something. I'll join you. I'm completely free right now, so I'd be more than happy to spend some time with you, Dingo. Damn it, man. What the hell do you have to do that for? Oh, quit whining. She's a sweetheart when you get to down to it. Be a good mentor and show her a nice time. Have fun, you two. I'll see you both later. If you have a ticket, please proceed to the I've been so busy, I haven't been able to stay on top of what's been playing at the theater. So, Dingo, which movie have you got your eye on? And what's your favorite genre? Tell me, tell me. Sai, I didn't come here to be interviewed, you know. For the movie on sale at the shop. But I might as well check something out while I'm here. I think there's some sort of documentary-ish thing they're showing. You're able to watch that. Okay, punk squabble. Someone needs to give us a way to hack in more activity points. After Van returned, the boy barged into his office, demanding that Van hear him out. Left with a little choice, Van resigned himself to hearing the details of his request. Come on, man, you're a Spriggan. You have to help us. Keep begging all you want. I don't want anything to do with whatever shit you're up to. Way I see it, you're looking for someone to cover your, for your sorry asses just because you can't man up and take the loss. Please listen to me, it's both our gang and our, our Riverside turf that's at stake here. We can't lose these guys, they're full of shit. Your turf, eh? News to me. I'm familiar with these guys, just a bunch of small time gangs that stick to doing their own stuff in small pockets around the city. They're too scared of the guild and cops to try to make any real noise, let alone catch the attention of actual gangsters. Man, you're killing me here. I remember when one of our guys picked up a fake of light of them and you kicked his ass like it was no big deal. I've looked up to you since that. If we had you, we'd be ten times stronger, or maybe even a hundred times stronger. To know what you're talking about, go borrow literally anyone else. You're really just gonna leave us out to dry? We're in deep shit here. That crew from Tyrell, they got some outsider to help them all of a sudden. It's crazy. An outsider? What kind of guy are we talking about? It's some crazy strong red-haired dude. Or he kicked more asses than I could count. We were on equal footing until he showed up, but now, damn it. Oh, okay, this is gonna be an awkward conflict of interest. Please just think about it. You're the only one who can help us, bro. Let's start with that. Don't call me your bro. Ever. But I guess I can at least take a look for myself. Got some time to kill anyway. For real? Hell yeah. Thanks, man. This war is as good as one. I only said, look, kid. Ain't making any promises here. Van left the office after a rain lap, gang member in tow. As he put it, there would be a major fight between gangs that had each team's very existence on the line. Van headed to the site of the conflict concerned by the gang members' hopefully overwrought claims. That's him! He's the one! Ah, he's already kicking ass! Damn it, of all fr a freaking course! You took your sweet ass time gang here, you know! Aaron, bro, you're amazing! You're damn invincible! Now, these babes are just weak as shit, but that's okay, they're just the appetizer. It looks like the main course family walked right in. I had a feeling it was you, for crying out loud. I knew you were out messing around at night, but it didn't even cross my mind to think you'd be running with brats like these. 
Hey, they're the ones that wanted to pick a fight with me when I was just chilling in the Tyrell district. I just taught them not to screw with me, but they practically up and begged me to be their boss. Who am I to say no, especially since they asked so nicely? Well, I might as well keep an eye on them and lend a hand here and there. And don't worry, I'm not stupid enough to get any outsiders wrapped up in this mess. Wait, my Spriggan, my dude, you know him! Unfortunately... Whatever, man, you're here to help those chumps out, right? Let's throw down already, then. Getting to hand you your ass will be the perfect cherry on top for the night. We got some unfinished business from back in Longport to sell. We never did get a clear winner out of those fights. Come on, bro, show us red-haired idiot what's what. You got this. Now I'm good. Well, come on, bro, you said you were gonna help us. I said I'd take a look. You're the one that jumped to conclusions. Man, you chickening out? Ain't getting paid enough for this. Actually, I'm not getting paid at all. The pain in the ass ain't, uh, this pain in the ass ain't worth it. Hell, aren't you 20 already? It's about damn time you stop fooling around like you're just a kid. It's embarrassing. Later. Damn. Oh no. Hell yeah, you're the best, bro. That means Riverside's our turf now. Now it's time for the curtain call. What? You blocked it. The hell? You're on the same team. I'm not an idiot, you know. I saw this coming ages ago. You just wanted me to clean house right from the start. Also, you'd get to expand your territory and assimilate the punks from this district before handing them over to some bigger gang. Just another job for you, right? But you should know dealing with me is way above your pay grade. You knew the whole plan! Come on, don't get scared now. He's the only one remaining. Yeah, no. What? Spriggan, my dude. Thought you'd gone home already. Now, I'm the adult around here, and that means I gotta keep an eye on y'all and make sure you kids don't do something stupid. No act so surprised, though. You knew what I was up to already. Yeah, wh what do you think of my distraction game? Cocky as always. Anyway, you kids are in for some real tough shit if you keep this up. It's one thing to get into a small-time gang or whatever. But getting involved with real gangsters crosses the line. I can't ignore that anymore. Almada, maybe? You ain't getting your ass out of this one. You screw up yourselves over the second you even looked at them. I don't need a lecture from you, asshole. You two might be strong, but we, we win numbers. Come on, show them who's boss. Wait, do I actually have to fight? Well, in when you're out the air, might as well have some fun then. Time to teach you a lesson. Sound effects. Arg. They're so strong. You two are amazing. You fought all of them off without breaking a sweat. All uh, Are all of you just punks this shitty? Because those guys could barely put up a fight. I'm sure as hell not getting involved with any more of these small-time gangsters. Want to help me clean up this mess, old fart? Gonna charge you extra just for that. Afterwards, the persistent conflict between the two local gangs came to a close. Then Aaron left the scene after sending an anonymous tip to the police, leaving them to handle the rest. Not gonna lie, got my suspicions when I heard you were getting involved with some local street punks here. Worried you were trying to build a replacement for the crew you lost in Longport. Nah, man, I wouldn't do that. There's no way I could replace them. But like, yeah, those punks were pretty nasty, but they weren't rotten to their cores. Not yet, anyway. They just didn't know any other way to live, and I don't believe not knowing any bears a grave enough crime to damn them forever. So you decided to get involved to fix things. All for some group of Edith punks you barely knew. Well, shit could have gone worse, I guess. You're thinking too hard about it. I wasn't trying to play nice like that. Sure, sure. We'll stick with that if it helps you sleep at night, kid. Tish. Aaron soon left, planning to enjoy the city at night for a while longer before heading back. After that, Van returned to his nightly patrol. <laughs> Can't keep your damn nose out of other people's business to save your life, can you? Cheeky adult Not strength plus bug. 10. Rainy Night's Drink. Van decided to stop by Bermati's place during his nightly patrol. Oh, Van Darling, welcome. Which Bermati are you looking for tonight, the informant or the bartender? I can pull double duty if you're feeling a little needy too. That's a weird way to ask, do you want a drink? Which is what I'm here for, by the way. Figure I'd have a quick drink while out and about. Surprise me. Uh, surprise me. Alrighty, I'll get you just the perfect drink for a dark and rainy night. Bye, bye. We happen to have an unusual customer today. An unusual customer? Who? Hey, Van. Want to sit with me tonight? Here you go, it's called Rainy Blue, perfect for tonight's wire. Have fun, you two. It's a nice drink. Yeah, you okay to be out drinking? I may still look like a teen, but I'm 20 as of this year. 
How about you? 24, and I don't want to hear any comments about it. I'm not that old. You telling me not to, uh, uh, to not only makes me want to do it even more. Anyway, since we're already here, we might as well. Cheers. Sure, here's some making friends. Cheers. We then finish our few drinks, opening with a bit of pleasant small talk. After 10 minutes of drinks. Come on, you barely had anything. Don't tell me you're blackout drunk already. I'm not, just felt a little sleepy there. You don't gotta force yourself to drink if you can't take it. I ain't gonna, gonna look after you if you do blackout. I'll be fine, just need to take a short nap. I'm familiar with what a truly embarrassing trunk looks like. I can keep myself from falling into that the same route as Sarah. Sarah, as in Valestine, the Purple Lightning. A former Jaeger turned a rank racer, just like you. She also had something to do with Class 7, if I remember right. I guess it's your job to be well informed. She started out as our class teacher. Now she's both my master and my partner. Of sorts, anyway. Come to think of it, I had some good drinks with Reen Laura in the yards on my birthday, too. Master and partner, huh? Do you have someone like that? Sort of. Master, yes, but not partner. Not that different at the end of the day, though. I wouldn't be where I am today without him. But that tie's been cut now. I see. Anyway, that's enough about me. You got someone that you wanted to ask, yeah? Since you went to the trouble of waiting for me here and all. Should have guessed you'd figure it out. Jin told me something right before I arrived at the Republic. He filled me in on what happened in Krail. You were there for it, right? With the Kruga girl I met at the park. We were, yeah. Guess it's not surprising you'd want to hear about what happened. We might be here a bit, but I don't mind sharing. Vance started t telling Fee about what happened in Krail Village, making sure to omit the subject of the Genesis. He told an intently listening Fee about what occurred in the village and everything relating to Ida. I see, Ida. She never changed. She always played the role of big sister, even back with our old crew. I definitely saw her as one. She was probably happy, happy to have her little sister with her for her last moments. Thank you for telling me about it. I'll make sure Zeno and Leo hear about it too. Yeah, you do that. So you still keep in touch with the guys from Zephyr? A bit, at least. I lost contact with them for a few years after what happened to the boss. But they're still fam family to me. I kept in contact with them this time, after everything settled down. That's good. Heard here and there that the Jaeger King was somehow involved in the whole war deal with Erebonia. Probably shouldn't pry. But, hmm, Frida from the Warriors of Kruga. I'd like to talk to her about Ida, in general too. It'd be nice to chat with her outside of work. Don't see why not. Fairy looked like she wanted to talk to you too. That's good to hear, but it'll probably have to wait until things calm down. Still, it'll be nice to get to talk to one of Ida's other sisters. Alright, oh, when I meet her, my dad. Uh, you okay there? Z. Huh, well, I guess that's the end of that conversation. She said she'd only t uh, take a short nap, so I guess I'll leave her be. Van, leaving Fee in Barani's care, left the bar. He received word shortly after that Fee had woken up and headed off herself. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, Spriggan. Okay, wind up. Agility up. Should I call it night? Tomorrow's gonna be another busy day, so I should probably turn in soon. I already did all the quests and sub-events. Wait, what's this? Will you care to join me for a tea party in Riverside? Ren? Man, always got people running around at her beck and call. So who am I to say no to the invitation? I'm glad the rain finally let up. The weather tomorrow should be lovely. Yeah, the forecast clear skies all day for the southeast. But should you even be out this late? You just told your friend to hurry back. Why, I'm out on patrol, silly. I have to make sure students are behaving themselves. New and old alike. Yeah, whatever you say. It has been a while, huh, kitty? Or will you rather call you Ren Bright these days? <laughs> call me whatever you like. Though I am pretty used to my new name now. It's really good to see you too, Spriggan. I came over as an exchange student this past spring, but had I known how much you miss me, I would have paid you a visit a lot sooner. 
Now, I know you go out of your way just because you're a former client. Hell, I wasn't even a pro when I helped you. I didn't have my current office or anything. And I mean, we have kind of crossed paths since. Like with that case with the pampered politician's son. <laughs> I had a feeling you might be involved with that based on what that reporter was telling me about it. I didn't think I'd end up student council president as a result of it all, but it's been a lot more fun than I was expecting. Glad I hear it. Man, five years since we first met through that introduction letter from the Meister, huh? Where does time go? Indeed, you really helped shake off the professor's attempts to follow me. Not to mention helping the Meister with his relocation after all that chaos in Crosswell. I mean, it wasn't his dad to begin with. I ended up dumping a couple of kids with a bit of history on him too. I wasn't really expecting anything in return, so I was pretty surprised when the, that gift showed up. Oh, the turbocharger, <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. My best friend and I were actually involved in designing it, you know? Hold on, really? I could tell it was pretty high-tech and all, but I didn't realize you were behind that. Well, I heard that you were a sobbing mess after Walter turned your old truck inside out. So I thought maybe you could use a little pick-me-up, you know, for old time's sake. Sheesh, that figures. So I'm guessing the society must be feeling this pressure at this point. They've had a lot of dropouts the past few years, you included. Just so long as they don't come looking for my help, you and I can ha- uh, you I can handle, but those are wackos, no thanks. But you have such a natural talent for attracting them. They do say birds of a fair flock together, though, and I'm afraid you're likely to meet more of them as time goes on. I'm just a normal upstanding citizen. What I do to deserve this? Protest all you like, but you do seem awfully popular lately. In fact, looks like you've got a vicious young woman looking to get her hands on you. Ooh, how dreadful. Oh, I think I'm a little past young at this point. <laughs> oh boy. It's such perfect timing, too. Thank you for making time to meet with us. I know how busy you are. Think nothing of it. I have some other business to take care of outside of the office as it is. You're Ren's, uh, Renee's boss, right? Heard a lot about you. Didn't realize the Flying Swallow was so fond of practical jokes. Was the lurking in the shadows bit uh, really necessary? <laughs> My apologies. My name is Kilika Ruran, Chief of the CID's Integrated Analysis Division. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Arkride. Even if this does not quite feel like our first meeting. No doubt, I'm sure he's told you a lot about me, huh? That he did. Including everything that went on behind the scenes two years ago. Haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Looks like bringing you two together was worth it after all. It's nice to see you again, Miss Roran. It's been, what, four years now? The same to you. Our positions may be different, but we need not be at odds with one another, Miss Wright. I'm glad we have a chance to catch up. Of course, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance as well, Mr. Arkwright. It's getting to be more like a real tea party every minute. Maybe I should have invited Sylphie to along after all. Sorry for the wait, Kilika. Uh, what did I just walk in on? I should think that's obvious, Jen. And I had hoped you would be more punctual, considering this is our first meal together in some time. Sorry, an urgent job came in. I finished it off as quickly as I could. I wasn't expecting to find the two of you here, though. It's good to see you again, too. I know we've spoken a few times over the phone, but I think it's about, been about a year and a half since we last met up in person. Oh yeah, that was at the wedding, wasn't it? Man, you've really grown up. <laughs> Hard to believe you're that same little girl that knocked us out in Grand Cell all those years ago. Oh right, I nearly forgot about that. You nearly forgot. Yeesh, you are something else, kid. Well, everything happens for a reason, they say. We wouldn't be here talking now if it wasn't for that. Oh, now I see what's going on here. I thought it was odd when you told me you wanted to visit. Should've known you already had company. Now don't give me that jealous look, Jen. It's less cute on a man your age. I promise I'll buy you a drink to make up for it. You two might not be in the same line of work anymore, but it looks to me like not much has changed since your days back in the, at the dojo. You sure you really need help from a guy like me? Oh, definitely. We've barely been managing to make ends meet since we got here. We're gonna need the help for, for a while, I think. You're extremely well connected too. I told you even have ties to another Taito soon. As a matter of fact, we were actually just talking about that before you got here. It's like he fits right in no matter whose side he's on. Hmm, how should I put it? He's he's like a singularity. Yeah, if you want to know something, Arkwright's your guy. Hey, lay off of that singularity business. I don't appreciate being talked about like a research specimen, okay? And just so we're clear, you guys might not be as bad as a Darwin or so, but you're still a major pain in the ass. Huh, can't say I don't get where you're coming from. 
So what's the plan? I've got a reservation not too long from now at a restaurant near here. You coming, Kilika? Of course, I think I've played my part here. I'll see you both again sometime. Take care and far bad. Sheesh, is there anybody around here that doesn't know my itinerary? That aside, I guess you're not totally on board with the, the guild yet, after all, huh? We do work together sometimes, so I'm not a bracer like my siblings, after all. I just do what I can to help and try to offer them my knowledge if I know it'll help the people I care for. Both in Liberal and Crossbell. I've been adding a lot of people here in Calvert to that list too, lately. That's good to hear. Well, I should be getting home, as Sel and Joshua will be wondering where I've gone to. I'll be counting on you to take care of Anya as well she's with you. I'll do what I can. Though, aren't the Brights back in Liberal? You going all the way back there, just like that? Oh yes, of course. Home is far away. Being around so many familiar faces made me think I was back there, I suppose. I'm so ashamed. A girl on the cusp of adulthood should be a little more focused. I think you're giving adults a little too much credit there, kiddo. <sighs> when I found you five years ago, you were still lost and trying to find your place in the world. I'd only just finished my training and was still getting a feel for what it was to be a Spriggan. I'll admit I kept you safe for a while and gave you a few pointers, but I never really could do much for you. Meanwhile, you managed to build yourself a new life, new friendships, <laughs> hell, a whole new family, all on your own. You're no lost kitten anymore. You're as fine a lady as any. <laughs> so, is this how you treat all the young ladies you keep company with? Oh, uh, <laughs> guess not. You say you never did much for me, but you give yourself far too little credit. It's not just me you've helped either. Take your old friend, that bracer girl, for example. Or what about your assistants, including my dear doormate? You help more people than you think. People who wouldn't have found themselves without you to take them by the hand and show them the way. I... If you ask me, you need to be a little more aware of the impact your words and deeds have had on people. If you can manage that, then I might even be willing to overlook a little head pad every now and again. Huh? <laughs> and with that, I think I'll be off now. Good night, Mr. Spriggan. Yeah. Good night. Man, she's grown more than I could have ever imagined. And I know she's nowhere near done. I'll have to keep an eye on her the same way I do my part-timers, now that fate's brought us back together like this. On the morning of the second day of the five-day weekend, Van contacted Nina to confirm that they would be accepting a request. Their goal was to be in Farbad in time for the morning next day, which would require setting off the night before. As such, they all had to rush to get ready for four days and three nights away from the office. Is that the person from that uh, previous quest? I'm jealous, I want to go to the film festival too. You get to meet famous people, right? We're not going for fun, you know, this is real work hours here. It's quite exciting though. You never know, we really might meet lots of famous people. You're right, we'll be meeting Nina for sure, and she has a really unique aura, I guess. Farbat's a good 8 hours by car, isn't it? That's quite a drive, make sure you have plenty to eat while you can. Thank you, Paulette. Then time for a drink to liven up. You absolute dumbass. Don't tell me you forgot why you renewed your license already. You people couldn't stay serious if your life depended on it, could you? Hey, I don't know what job you've taken on that's taking you to Farbad, but please do take care.
All right, can't say I ain't nervous, but you try taking the wheel uh, till we're at Edith. Let's see you put those driving chops you showed driving red stars around Longport into practice. Muente, I got this. Ingert, red star. It's all the same when you're behind the wheel. I can drive this baby way more smoothly than a shaky head codger like you. This is going to be your first and only warning, kid. You end up scratching her or veering us into a ticket and you're going to be in the trunk the rest of the way. Sweets really aren't the only thing you're picky about, huh? Like cars and saunas, the essentials of life. Still, it sounds like as long as you drive safely, everything will be fine. Oh, why does someone have to call now? Wait a sec. But I'd rather not take this in front of them, but I guess I ain't got a choice. Hello, Mr. Arkride. I hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. Oh. Huh? Damn, didn't think it'd be from a chick. A weirdly dressed one, too. I see that I did. I'm very sorry. I didn't know you were with your employees. No, that's cool. But sorry, if you had something else you wanted to run through with me, this ain't a good time. We're gonna be out of town for a while. Can't wait until I get back. Oh, I see. Should have given you a call myself, to be honest, but this was a real last minute thing. Not at all. What I wanted to discuss is hardly urgent. I simply noticed a number of irregularities in the last set of data you sent me. And as your service provider, I cannot help but be concerned. I am deeply worried on a personal level, too, considering I am charged with your care. Uh, I mean, I'm grateful, but... Anyway, we'll only be away for a few days. I'll call you once things settle down afterwards. See ya! Oh, please wait! Phew, uh... Why are you all looking at me like that? She doesn't work at some sleazy shop or whatever, okay? You sure about that? Sounded like she was talking to her favorite customer from where I'm standing. And what the hell gave you that impression? I don't know what the sleazy shop stuff is about, but she was super pretty. Her outfit was really cute, too. It looked like a maid outfit, which yes, did make me wonder what service she provides while being charged with your care. God, let's just get going, okay? MTSC. In, in regards to Mare uh, somehow being connected to Grendel. I never thought Aaron would be such a great driver. His smooth driving skills are off the charts. He's really giving Van a run for his money. See, told you I'd kick ass behind the wheel. Look, the only thing I hate more than a smug little shit is a smug little shit with talent. I'll admit, this isn't a bad ride. I can see why you're always raving about her. She's smooth, customizable, and comfy. I can also make sharp turns without a hitch. I've always been a Red Star kind of guy, but I'm coming around to Ingert. Heh, <laughs> I'll make a, a cover of you yet. Of the four main brands, they're the best of the bunch. I think I'll take her for a spin from time to time. If I pretend she's mine, every, pretty, every girl in town will want a piece of me. Burn in hell. Anyway, I'll at least stay on the wheel for a while. If you and I keep ta taking turns, we'll be at Far Bad by Sunrise. Then we can meet up with Nina, curious to find out what we sign up for. Me too, it must involve the Genesis somehow, but that's about all we know for sure. It's times like these when I wish I could glean more insight from them when they're glowing. Hey, don't be gobing yourself up. I've been wondering, though, how does the glowing thing even work? God only knows, those things might not be indecipherable enigmas like artifacts, but we still know next to nothing about them. The fact that they can respond to their conversations implies that they're s sentient. Maybe there's a pattern for when they light up. Don't they go off when Almada's pulling shit? Could they be in far bad? I had my contacts looking into that, but they haven't found a trace of them there. Still, they could have been the ones who sent those threat letters out. Fingers crossed that isn't the case. I'll bet it isn't. The approach is too soft and roundabout for them. Not to mention, they don't have anything to gain by obstructing the festival. At least not the one far bad. Maybe they had a reason to stop them in Messeldam since they're headquartered there. Now, last I heard, they moved out of Messeldam a long time ago. The people responsible for stopping the last festival were a bunch of racial terrorists. They threatened it and started a fire. Whole thing was cancelled as a precaution. What, for real? And here I thought those racist bastards were a dying breed. I love to wipe the floor of those shit stains. Say, Van, you really do trust Dingo, don't you? Even if this job is bigger than what we normally do, you heard Nina out because of his recommendation. We go way back, is all. I've known him since I was first starting out as a fixer. It's a give and take kind of relationship. He gives me the jobs and I feed him info I pick up. Speaking of info, he knows Jack too, right? 
You guys are in cahoots with a lot of colorful characters, huh? There's Bermai too. Tingo's definitely the most upstanding one of them, that's for sure. Doesn't get too friendly with you, but if you give him a job, he'll always get it done. Pretty easy guy to trust, if you ask me. He seems really well connected too. He even knows Nina. Wasn't it him who arranged for, for SPGs in Farbat too? He's half Central Eastern, so maybe that's why he's got so many acquaintances out there. And he's got that rep as the journalist who turned down a Fulitzer. Really? But the Fulitzer Prize is the highest honor a reporter can receive. How the hell did a small time dude at Gossip Mag get in the rank for that? Who knows? I'm sure there's a reason. He's gonna be in Farbat starting on the second day we're there to cover the festival. So we ought to be able to count on him to round up some leads for us. Yawn, sorry, didn't mean to yawn so loud. It's okay to go sl to sleep if you want to get some shy, you know? The seats are all, recl all reclined, so you should be able to get comfy. Just make sure your seatbelt's nice and tight first. None of us would mind if you got some rest too, by the way. We've passed a number of pit stops already. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm used to long drives like these. If I really need it that bad, I'll just let this little punk take over. Works for me. I'm still young, so I can actually do all-nighters. Yawn. Oh, I've been meaning to ask. Do people really not drink camel's milk in the Republic? Was it a story about the Melfita that made you want to ask? But that's right. You don't see camels much outside of the Central East. Do you used to drink it back home or something? Nope, our village is at the base of a mountain, so we don't keep any camels back home either. I've just had some during a few of our trips. It tasted so good, though. It's much thicker than cow and sheep's milk. Oh, I wonder if it's like kumis. Uh, uh, kumis. That's good stuff. You make me want to try it now. Heh. <laughs> Camel milk is supposed to be really valuable since they don't produce much of it. Never tried any myself, but it's supposed to be a good alternative for people who are allergic to cow's milk. It's much higher in protein, vitamins, and iron, while at the same time much lower in fat content. They also say it's tough to bake with, though, so it's kind of surprising that someone would try making chocolate with it. You're an encyclopedia for the weird shit. You guys hauled your asses over to Longport because Sal bribed them with sweets too, right? We were so screwed with Omada learns his weak point. You make a good point. I guess we'll have to learn how to make even nicer confections to keep him loyal to us. I can't always be bought, you know. Changing topics, Nina seems like such a lovely person on top of her already being a talented actress, doesn't she? She's only two years older than me, but she's so composed and level-headed. Yeah, she stood her ground even when those monsters all showed up. She's not a warrior, but she did have this noble kind of aura to her. Yeah, quite a woman. Not much like your average Easterner, either. I don't think she's from Longport, is she? No, but it's not like every Easterner in this part of the world comes from Longport. We've got Long Line the, in Eastern Calvert and a place like the Eastern Quarter over in Crossbelt out west, to name two big hubs. And she's deliberately gone out of her way to present herself as more white, too. Not judging to make it clear. That's her call to make. I'm confused. I feel like I'm missing something. It's a bit of a Calvert problem. A delicate one. After the revolution a hundred years ago, discrimination on the basis of identity, race, and culture were all abolished. But just because you have anti-discrimination on paper doesn't mean people will have a change of heart. I guess this is what got Daybreak on the Woke Games spreadsheet. Our constitution makes it possible for us all to live in harmony with one another. And to a certain extent, we do, at least on the surface. Oh, do you mean all the racial terrorism that's been happening? Prejudice runs real deep in Calvert. There isn't much over in Longport, but up north, who oh boy. You got white supremacists stuck in Calvert's past who raised some hell of Easterners, and Central Easterners sometimes too. Things came to a head when Crosswell tried declaring its independence and, uh, during the economic crisis that followed, but it's calmed down since then. Th th that's only because Calvert's been basking in the prosperity of the Empire's reparations. It isn't as if racism itself has disappeared. It's too bad there's n that's not the case. Of course, Hayway's never taken it lying down. They hit back hard. So there's that too. It's not like uh, all one-sided. Oh, that's pretty mature take for you. Oh shit, a shop, I just hate stereotypes, that's all. I agree with you there, we're all individuals. It's just a shame that a lot of people in this world can't see ours that way. Central Easterners have a lot of merits that adds to the friction too. They've contributed a good amount to Calvert's development in technology and academics. Their investments are a large reason why Vernet and the Basel Institute of Science have become as big as they are. And it's not just financial investments, it's well known that one of my great-grandfather's three disciples has a Central Eastern background. Professor Hamilton, if you know her name. Oh yeah, I've heard of her before. 
So it's sad to think that there are those out there who hate any contribution made just because of the people who made it. I guess I've still got a lot to learn about this country, huh? Fairy. The younger crowd doesn't really dwell as much on where people come from, though. I say keep it that way as you grow. Us oldies will be watching over you with pride as we sip our tea. Man, you're not much older than us, you know. Heh, <laughs> don't throw out your back just yet, Gramps. It's the job of your generation to pave the road ahead so we can have a smoother ride. You pave your own damn road, and calling me an old fart is bad enough. Man, they're all they're, they're tough bunch. They all look their age when they're asleep. Hard to believe we used to be like this too. <sighs> These are some troubled times, and I know you've all got a lot more to worry about than you'd ever let on. But I hope you'll never lose sight of how to live your life your own way. So you don't go off the rails like I did. Hmm. He f hey, finally awake, huh? Uh, morning, Van. Last night, did you, uh... Oh, we're in the Shirin Desert. I read about it in one of my textbooks. Uh, you know, I kind of dig it. We just entered the desert proper. We'll get to the far back in about an hour. In the meantime, I'm br Bush, you take over for number three. Sweet idios, how the hell can he just pass out right like uh, right there like it's nothing? It's like he's still in puberty or something. Uh, hey, rest is important. Cook, uh, conking out on a demand is a, a good skill to have. He really did drive a lot. No wonder he's so tired. There sure are a lot of cars on the road. They must be traveling to the film festival. Now the old man's sawing logs. Nothing's stopping me from putting the pedal to the metal and seeing how fast this sucker can go. How about no? Let's just get to Farbat in one piece, please. Let's see, according to this map, yep, like Van said, we're about an hour away. Hey, there it is! That's the city, huh? Bigger than I imagined. A city overlooking an oasis, perched right between tradition and modernity. That must be far bad, all right. October 5th, 8.02 a.m. Far by the City of Pleasure. Wow, waterfall in the middle of town. Pretty wild, right? Apparently the water is pumped in straight from the oasis. Looks like a lot of tourists running around here. Anyway, where am I parking this bad boy? Yeah, and take a right and pull into the big parking lot. I got us a spot book there. we Will do. And there's a parking mini game where if you fail, then Van just takes off a bunch of SP. Eh, here at last. Man, are you going to be all right? You only slept for an hour. And I'll manage. Used to it at this point. You can you can sure tell we're in the desert though. Barely morning, it's already hard in Gehenna. It's only gonna get higher throughout the day too. And then nighttime hits and the temperature crashes like a bus. We're meeting our client at noon, yeah. Let's say we cool off at the casino. Yeah, in your dreams, kid. We need to check in to the end first. Once we drop off our luggage, it'll be time for us to limber up. The place we're staying at is the in the cultural district, right? Yeah, if memory serves, it should be... We want to go that way, then. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get to it. Welcome to Farbat. I'll be sure to look after your truck while it's parked here. We have a train station, but ever since cars got popular in the Central East, a good number of visitors chose to come by those. As a result, there are more parking lots around here than even just a couple years ago. But more cars means more work, so I... Oh well, we coordinate with the local police, so you can all rest assured that your truck is in safe hands here. That big-ass building must be the place. It's called the Aljamera Hotel. 
And yes, we'll be meeting there later. <laughs> I can't wait to see it up close! Well, you'll have to wait a little longer. Let's keep moving. It's been a long time since I've been far bad. Business is clearly booming out here these days. Normally I do business over in Elsheim this time of year, but when I heard there was going to be a film festival, I couldn't not come. Now who wants some kebabs, huh? Don't be shy. What's a good festival about some even better eats to go of it? That's what I say. Looking to buy something? Central Eastern culture is so fascinating! Hell yeah, I like this place already. All this hustle and bustle is my kind of scene. Farbad's famous for its bazaar. The last time I came here, I remembered there being traditional music and dancing and stuff. Ooh, that sounds fun. I'd love to see some of that. Hey, I recognize those Sphinx. Don't you smoke stuff out of them? That's right, I read about them before. They're hookahs, traditional devices that come from the Central East. Right, can't say I'm into smoking, but all this talk about vices has me keen on trying some of the booze around here now. Heh. <laughs> Save the sightseeing for later, folks. We got an inn we need to check into first. It should be just past that sign over there. Oh, hey. Come on, Sara! We've gotta get going! Okay, okay, right behind you. Fairy, it's so good to see you. How have you been? I'm doing great. Nice to see you too, Miss Hala. Oh, I see. This must be where... Yes, this is where me and the rest of the Kruga stayed before. It's neat to, neat to see it again. Uh, Faye has a way of bringing people together like that. Anyway, welcome to Farbad, everyone. Two rooms, right? I'll show you where you'll be staying. Follow me. Glad to hear it. After you. I see, so you're living and studying in Edith these days, are you? I'm impressed, you've grown so much in just a year. Oh, it's no big deal, really. I still have a lot to learn. I always have to ask Anya to explain stuff to me. I feel so bad for her. Heh, <laughs> please, it's fine. I enjoy teaching her things. Our fairy is a quick study. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I can't wait to see what the future holds for her. So you're her boss, right? Make sure you do your job, too, and look after her well, got it? Hmm, well, somebody thinks pretty highly of you. Heh, <laughs> yeah, she's always been really nice to me. This will make for a pretty solid crash pad. Rooms are clean and the food seems decent. Guess it's time to get to work now. That it is. Dingo said, uh, says he's done getting us some uh, four SPGs ready too. Let's take our time resolving whichever ones catch our eye and then head to the uh, Al Jumeirah Hotel in the Entertainment District by noon. Sounds good to me. Great, and off to work we go. So, where's the nearest bulletin board? I think there's one in the bazaar. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Trails Through Daybreak. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.